morning guys and girls. This is a follow-up video on my previous visit in towards the end of October to the Loch Val Barrage area. We had some good rains uh, since I was here previously. So they opened uh, a number of sluices, I'm not sure how many, at the barrage, which you see in the background. So I thought I'd come and check out what the water levels are like, how it's risen. In anticipation of, of more rain coming, uh, obviously they want to be prepared. We had some good rains in the last week, uh, in excess of 100, between 100 and 200 millimeters cumulatively for the week in a very short space of time. However, very little up in the Vol Dam catchment area, a lot downstream. Uh, they opened the Starkfontein Dam, which is way upstream at Harry Smith in the Free State, very near the Free State border with uh, KwaZulu Natal. They opened the sluices there and released water, and they're going to continue doing that until mid towards end December to maintain the water levels at the Vol Dam. At the Vol Dam at the moment, water levels are at 26%. It increased over the weekend with the arrival of the Starkfontein Dam water increased by 1%. Now the idea of that is to maintain the Vol Dam water levels as close to, or not to go below 25% uh, for the water to remain usable. Otherwise, you know, the, the solids content, the turbidity of the water is just becomes too high. So this is the barrage, Loch Vol area, which is a set of sluices across the Vol River, a couple of kilometers downstream from the Vol Dam. And with the very good rains and downpours we had over the last week, uh, they had to open the sluices to make space or to provide for that water coming down. Um, so it's quite a good site. I've been here three weeks ago. You can see the other video, which uh, the link is up in the corner here, to the right. Uh, water level has increased considerably. Um, water was quite clean when I was here last time. Now it's very dirty and predictably so. So I'm going to put the drone up, go closer to, to the barrage itself and see if we can get some nice footage there. Such a beautiful sight. After two years of extreme drought, it seems like this season we're really getting good rain. And we must always remember to thank and appreciate the blessings from the Lord. With this video, I also I want to do my part in that and say thank you God, thank you Lord for providing and hearing our prayers with this drought stricken country. Thanks for sending a lot of rain the farmer's way. A wise man once said that it doesn't rain water only, it rains hope and that's so true when the rain started falling last week people were so positive, people just turned so optimistic. Thank you, God, for your blessings. Nice view of the volume of water that's been released through that one sluice gate. Upstream side of the barrage. Just a crazy beautiful sight. Four hundred and seventy meters away from home point at the moment. Altitude seventy five meters. How 
beautiful is that? I get so passionate when I see these images on my screen. Low battery warning. Getting a low battery warning, it's at 80% of the moment. Really safe distance from home point. So. Take a look at this dog. He's carrying the caretaker's moon bag, which is obviously containing the money from all the fishermen. What a friendly fellow. I'm sure nobody's going to try and take that from him. Well, that was the caretaker coming to collect a few rand for the local fishermen who camp for the day, fishing for the day. So, yeah, what a beautiful place. I think I, I really think there's some nice footage that I got. Um, it's half past eight. What a beautiful morning it is. It's so fresh. After rain, everything is so fresh and healthy. Apparently, I missed the big day on Saturday. Today is Monday. So Saturday, I came here on Friday and I drove over the bridge there. The, the, uh, Gauteng Free State Road and I saw the water just just uh, flowing over the top of the uh, sluice gates and I thought you know it's not that dramatic yet I'm gonna give it a day and I wanted to come out here on Saturday and the wind was blowing and it was overcast and obviously I'm not gonna take any chances with the drone I put it up in rainy weather not even for a good view, but I missed it. Uh, she just told me on Saturday it was properly overflowing way over the sluice gate height and they opened like five, six sluices. And what you see here in the background, these little islands were all gone. It was all high level water just gushing down the, the gushing through the sluice gates, flattening everything on the way down and that's the stuff I'm after. So gave her my number and she'll contact me when there's really some dramatic uh, images for us to come and get it. So good thing, the rain isn't over yet, it's just beginning of the rain season so maybe I'm lucky and I get good footage in the next few months. So anyway, I'm done here. Actually feel like just sitting here for an hour and appreciate nature. Just soak up the peace and harmony that this place is so blessed with. Man, if you close your eyes, you just hear the birds. You hear the little breeze of wind. It's almost as if you can hear the Lord speak. Not in a loud voice, but through nature, through what we see in, in front of our eyes. This is the real Bible. Nature screams out of the Almighty God, the Creator. There's life everywhere. Which man to date could create a tree, make it grow? Not to mention the hundreds of species we see around us. Feeling truly blessed, truly blessed today. Tell you what, I'm not making lots of money with these videos. As a matter of fact, I'm making none at the moment. It doesn't fill my pocket, but I tell you what, it surely fills my soul. It so fills my soul. I want to travel this beautiful country, South Africa. And we have 
such a lot of beautiful, lovely places in South Africa. I want to travel them and do videos of every beautiful spot in this beautiful country. That's my passion. All the resorts up and down the coast. All right, I'm going to be out of here. Leave this behind, do some editing, get this video uploaded. Thanks for spending the time with me, guys. This is a blessed moment. Thanks for watching.